Hey everybody, I'm in one of my half acre kill plots. This has been a good spot over the years. I've, for some reason, I just walk past it every time, but I know every year I get a picture of a stud out here daylighting. It's usually when I'm not here, so. Um, this is red clay, really bad pH. I believe it started at a 5.0 when I sent in my soil test. But a food plot, uh, trying to do a food plot back here is pretty difficult. But I've been planting some clover and I'm doing some uh, soil builder blends. That seems to have been helping a lot. So one of these blends I threw in here was a, uh, a bl the southern, or not southern, the uh, summer cover blend from uh, Green Cover food plots it seems to be doing pretty well honestly there's a lot of soybeans in here I think I see some sorghum a bunch of clover buckwheat just a bunch of stuff that's supposed to help I mean I know the soybeans don't but I'm gonna say this is some type of radish I'm not sure exactly but this is a soybean soybeans clover just a kitchen sink blend, some people would say. But I have my camera right there. And I'm going to broadcast some more clover in here because I just really feel like clover just, once you get it established and you, if you take care of it, it just seems to do the best, especially in subpar uh, soil. Because this used to be all right here where my hand is. This used to be all uh, cedars. And last year we took a backhoe and came in here and tore them all up, buried them. So this is one of my favorite spots. So you can see here's some of the clover I've got up in here. It sets up with that two-man tree stand right there. Come out. I don't know what that was, but I'm gonna spray some of the um, plot start and plot boost out here for the established stuff, and then I'm also gonna broadcast some uh, some of this clover. And it's, it seems like we're supposed to get some rain here pretty soon uh, in the next week or so. There's supposed to be a good chance for some rains. Now the soil's not, like I said, it's red clay. So I'm gonna use some of that clover as a small seed. Hopefully just get some contact with the soil and it should, should grow well. So stick with me, I'm gonna show you the process. Just some of this, uh, a few things that I'm gonna do preseason. bunch of the stuff knocked down it's a bunch of the undesirable stuff I know I try being pretty picky about what I'm killing because I know there's still a lot of good stuff out here my original plan was to run around and with the golf cart and try to pack some of it down but I think being clover I think I can just broadcast it over the seed or over the soil and pray that we get some rain that drives it down in there but what I'm going to be planting is this biologic uh, New Zealand Clover Plus seems like a good thing to plant. I got a quarter of an acre, so two pounds. All I'm gonna do is really seed right here, and I might overseed a little bit over there, but it seems like it's doing doing really well. So I'm gonna go out here and uh, broadcast this and see how it goes. All right. Now that I've gotten it seated, I'm gonna go back over it. I got my backpack sprayer. I'm using some deer grow plot start. I 
in conjunction with some plot boost. So I'm hoping that the plot boost helps out whatever is in there already. And then the plot start is hopefully going to help these new ones. And I need to adjust the pH of this anyways. I've already put out probably a thousand pounds of lime out here uh, a few months ago, but I still think that it needs, a, needs some help and I haven't taken a soil test. So I'm going to go ahead and get this going and then that will wrap up this food plot. And I should just be able to let it sit. So stick with me.